So here's our here's our artwork that we took off the computer uh, to kind of scale it up. You kind of use your hand to kind of uh, get a sense of the size of it. And uh, from this, now that we've taken our design, we uh, take some tracing paper, which I've already kind of laid this out. And what you do is you trace your rough pattern here um, off of that. So I made some modifications to it due to the, uh, the, the size and the engineering because I want to make it a little bit bigger so it can hold more of the uh, information uh, that we want to. But So basically what you do, this is an old school trick um, that you can do to, I'm just going to show you on a sample, but you can do it on each one of the pieces. It's going to be layered, all right? Uh, so what you want to do is kind of create a buildup uh, with, uh, with a hollow center in it. Uh, and then an outside casing, and then you can build details on top of that to give it dimension, okay? Um, uh, also, you can work in areas for, uh, for wiring, for batteries, uh, for practicals, stuff like that. So I'm going to show you how to do a, a quick and easy transfer so you don't have to use carbon paper or anything like that. So what we'll do is, uh, this is already drawn, but say uh, here we'll take... Uh, We'll take, say, this handle, for example. So you just want to kind of rough draw it out. It's kind of hard on this carpet here. So it's a little harder. And say you take your shape and you just draw it out. This gives you a rough shape. You can measure it, too, but on some of the more complicated pieces here, you can, uh, uh, you can draw it out and then uh, you take your material. This is quarter-inch MDF. MDF is, is good. For uh, it's something easy to get a hold of. Um, you can buy it at any store. It comes in different thicknesses. Comes in different densities, and uh, it, it's good for blocking out materials, uh, uh, blocking out your your project. Uh, you can also use uh, steel, aluminum. Um, you can use uh, plexiglass. You can use ABS. You can use lots of different materials. But what's cool about uh, about the MDF is it's easy to sand. It's good for the beginner. Uh, and it gives you a good finish uh, overall. So, um, so for example, here we started laying this guy out here. Now, in the, a quick and dirty trick is, like I said, you you draw uh, your your uh, your pattern on top of that. Then you flip it over. You reverse it, and we'll see if we can get this in the camera here. But basically, there's your line. You flip it over, and then you redraw it again. It's like carbon paper. Okay. Boom. So it gives you a rough pattern. And the, of, of your uh, shape that you're going to do, okay? So what we're going to do first is start out with the base form, with the base form, uh, and uh, what we'll do is uh, start like this. Let me see which side is our either side. So I want to get a form here, so I start out with the, the, the handle. We're going to do the clip later, but Basically, you can draw out your pattern like this. This is your sub pattern. So it doesn't have to be very fancy. It, it can just be very simple and kind of blocky. Now, wherever your pencil doesn't go, if there's no if there's no pencil underneath it, it won't transfer. Like here, there's a blind spot here, so I just draw that across like this. And and can you, are you getting it? You can kind of get a rough idea about where the shape is, like this. Then you can just kind of go over it. All right, and that's just the basis for one side of the gun. You probably want to want to make two of these because skin on either side. We're off to the machine shop. Make sure that you wear your safety goggles. Here's the pattern. It's just a rough layout right now. So uh, what we're going to do is I've already cut it down, make it a little faster. No comments from the peanut gallery over there.
These are called relief cuts. What you do is you bag it up. You don't want to put too much stress on the blade. You can also use a jigsaw to do the same thing if you don't have a bandsaw. For speed, I'm using a bandsaw. So you just want to rough it out. You just want to rough out the shape and you'll create two of these. You can also stack cut them. <coughs> you cut them both at the same time. You just put a little bit of glue on the back, put two sheets together, and then you can cut out the whole thing. Or you can put a screw through it. Just make sure the screws aren't sticking through the backside or else it's going to scratch on, on your surface and that will be a pain. So we're just going to establish a couple like spacer strips to put in between the two halves sandwich together. Think of it as the meat in the sandwich, okay? We just cut out the bread. This is gonna be the meat, okay? So we just need a couple, just rough strips. Just like some spacers that we can just randomly put down where we want to lay out the, uh, the spacings for uh, the electronics and the practical effects, okay? We got, you're going to have two of these, okay, one, one for either side, and I'll show you that in a second. But uh, what I want to do is, I want the cool stuff in, in this guy. It doesn't seem like much right now, but uh, I want to put a bolt, a spring-loaded bolt action in here. So what I need to do is kind of open this up uh, to accept the bolt action, which... Oh, amazingly enough, look, look what I got here. Oh, it's a little bolt action. See, there's a little bullet on the end here. You know, a little spring-loaded dealy here that I made earlier, which we can cover on another gig. So what I do is I want to kind of plot out where it's going to be. So roughly there. And, uh, oh, what other cool stuff can I put in there? Um, I've got lights and slider and... So, basically, all right, we want to have an area for battery pack and uh, like a throughway causeway for electronics, wiring, and so on and so forth. Um, so I want to kind of leave that open. So what we do is we take our little spacers here and the always friendly zap a gap. It's super glue, basically, uh, and an accelerator is called Zip Kicker, um, which is... Uh, it will. It, it basically turns it to ice and super speeds it. Uh, super speeds the uh, kicking of the super glue. So basically, what we're going to do is we want to lay this out, and then you can spray the other side like this, which accelerates it, and that's where we want our batteries to be. All right. So you got that. You got. Let's spray either side. So as you can see, we got a nice little causeway here for batteries and wires or whatever we need to uh, to put inside the model. Okay. Then, as you can see from the back side, uh, we want to trim all this stuff away. Here's what it'll pretty much look like after you get it laid out. So it's trimmed. So you got your two halves. You got your spacers in between. Um, ready to accept your slider, your, uh, your receiver here, all right, and I'll show you how to put these uh, spacers in to tighten it up once we get it together. Um, 
This is just the base form. You can, as you can see, you got clearance for wires here. You got space for this guy to go in uh, like this. So you just got to kind of fiddle around with it a little bit until everything's clear. And you got to kind of know what you want to put in it first. Um, but if you make it hollow, there's a lot of things you can play with. We can put it together. What I like to do is have one side mounted like this, one side mounted like this. Uh, and then the other side, I like to drill little holes and countersink so that you can remove this panel and you can remove the, the handle. The handle's nice because uh, if you need to work, say, like on the trigger, it's a spring loaded, which we'll get to that in a minute. Um, or you need to access anything on the inside, you can do it a lot easier. Which, once you get your, your pattern here, um, it's easy to uh, kind of uh, figure out what you want once you start kind of playing with it. Just, just The key is to have fun with it, you know? Have fun with it, and uh, sometimes you're under the gun if you know that there's uh, if you're on set or or you're in the model shop and you got to deliver something like right away. Um, it's not so fun, but it's still fun. It beats the hell out of flipping burgers for a living. Let's take our pattern here. This is a little bit more advanced. This is obviously done a little bit earlier, so. Yeah, some fun things that you can do, little tricks. Uh, you can take a small nail if you don't have a, a small drill bit so that you can uh, lay out your screws. Lay out your pattern so that you go through the shell on the outside and into the spacers on the back side. So you take a small nail, cut off the back of the head, drill it. You know, drill out your hole, and then you can countersink it using one of these. Or you can use the back of a drill in reverse, a larger drill. You start to assemble the thing. Some of these parts are, are, are further on down the road, but uh, we're going to leave the handle off for now. And you just, maybe you set up your screws. I changed out from the brass screws because the brass screws kind of strip, but you can assemble it. Okay, that's fine for that. I'm going to line it up. Tricky little screws. Okay, so basically it's starting to come together, okay? You can see the handle goes on there, um, and there's your two shells with your spacers in between, all right? And uh, once we get it together, we can start sculpting. You can drop this guy in now. I say, okay, it wants to be on this side. So that will key in like that. I put this little key in here too so that it keeps it from rolling. So it snaps in there like this. So you've got your roll like that. Now, all this, this metal will make sense later on. Um, but we're going to put a slide in here. On this specific design, I... Uh, I wanted to have a slider in it that uh, that reacted like a slide on a pistol. Like when you pull it back, it locks out. So what I what I did was um, I drilled a hole into the into this receiver here to accept a a slide pin that goes like this that goes inside, so that when this slides back, it reacts like this. So what we're gonna do is drop this guy in here and then this guy slides through a slot in the spacer that I made and we align it up so basically you get this kind of an effect it also locks back so it gives it a little bit more interest you know it's a little bit more fun now 
This is uh, a lighting uh, uh, lights for it, uh, which I'll cover in some other show or something because it's a little bit more advanced. But I whipped this up ahead of time. What you can do is take like a, 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 like a set of headlights or something like that. They usually come with their own battery packs that are very small, and pretty much um, it's just contacts. You know, you just uh, change your contacts. Boom, you get the, you get your lights. So that's a simple way to get some physical effects in there. Oh, it's alive. It's alive! It's alive! And uh, what I did is I drilled out the face to accept the, uh, uh, the, the mock bullet. This is a mock bullet, by the way. It's not real. It's been emptied. Okay. Um, so what we're going to do is we're gonna, I'm going to drop this guy in. I already got him pre-kind of set up here. So he'll, he goes in like this. And... These, this wiring needs to come across. So what we're going to do is space this. I'm going to drop this guy in here like this. And then bring the wires down and through this little gap here. There's a little gap here. And I don't know if you can see this here. The wires are going to slide through there and then down into the... Uh, the empty area in the handle. Right. Now you gently want to place this on here. Make sure that your wires are clear. Use whatever you need to uh, clear the wires out of the way. Make sure everything comes together real, real nice and sturdy. I put these. Uh, these styrene, which is just plastic strips that you can get at a hobby store. Um, once I slid in the receiver uh, in order to hold it in place, which most of this is going to get covered. It'll be painted out like a detail. So now that it's pretty much in place where I want it and it's locked off, I got these, uh, these pieces of angle uh, aluminum here that hold the slider in place. So now I'm going to double check, make sure all my wires are clear. I got official wires underneath this. This is just a general uh, of uh, general uh, breakdown of some uh, techniques that you can use. So, unless you're building this, it, 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 each technique is very specific to its particular project. Um, just like in effects, every project is different. Uh, the techniques that used are the same, but each one, uh, the techniques that are used and the uh, and and how they're adapted to each individual project varies from project to project. So now that we've got this here, all right, we've got our our little receivers in place. Okay, um, it's clean, it's moving, so it's working real nice. It's being held in place. Uh, we want to uh, use the we're going to hook up the lights here. So it's cutting and fitting and trying to to make stuff uh, clean and smooth. Um, like this, I put a little stop on it here. Um, this is just styrene in here, which it just creates a stop and a little groove for the uh, for the trigger to go into and a stop up here. All right. These are your contacts, and as soon as the contacts touch each other, obviously, uh, then the light's going to go off. So what we want to do is, uh, I got a little spring. We got a little spring here, and that fits this, and we're going to drop this in to a, a preformed little notch that I created to kind of hold the uh, kind of hold the spring in place, so that it springs back for us. There's your trigger. Okay, then. You got your other little contact here, and this has already been pre-soldered and everything, but we want to just tag it in place. So we take a little bit of glue. You don't want too much because you don't want to glue it together. Uh, you know, glue your, glue your mechanisms together. And then you lay it onto the back, hit it with the kicker, and it'll glue it right there. So when you pull the trigger, boom, 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 you got your light, okay? Press down your wires, get those out of the way, 
those can all be easily hidden, okay?